So something new and something old combined together. They say, oh poor girl, you're so beautiful, you know. It's a shame that you cover up your beauty so. She just smiles and graciously responds reassuringly. This beauty that I have is just one simple part of me. This body that I have, no stranger has a right to see. These long clothes, the shawl I wear, ensure my modesty. Faith is more essential than fashion. Wouldn't you agree, this hijab, this mark of piety, is an act of faith, a symbol for all the world to see. A simple cloth to preserve her dignity. So lift the veil from your heart to see the heart of purity. They tell her, girl, don't you know this is the West and you are free. You don't need to be oppressed, ashamed of your femininity. She just shakes her head and she speaks so assuredly. See the billboards and the magazines that lie in the checkout aisles with their phony painted faces and their airbrushed smiles. Well, their sheer clothes and low cut gowns, they are really not for me. You call it freedom. And I call it anarchy in this hijab. This mark of piety is an act of faith, a symbol for all the world to see. A simple cloth to preserve her dignity. So lift the veil from your heart and seek the heart of purity. They say, sister of belief, you are so strong. Your scarf is a flag of this faith where you belong. She just drops her gaze and then speaks with humility. I did not wear this shawl at all less than one year ago. I've been judged, misjudged, and misunderstood by those who do not know that faith cannot be measured by the garments that we sew. Beauty and faith objects reduced to a fashion show in this hijab, this mark of piety is an act of faith, a symbol between my God and me, a simple cloth to preserve her dignity. So lift the veil from your heart and see the heart of purity. Lift the veil from your heart and seek the heart of purity. Lift the veil from your heart and seek the heart of purity.